Christians are shunning other Christians. That's the issue, right? How do we manage this? Who is right? Who is wrong? That's the issue. We did not manage this. We we refused to manage this. Uh, it happens by listening to gods who are not your God. And whether you're listening to the talking head of Trump on the screen or whether you're listening to the talking head of whoever gets thrown out there next, is it Fauci, right? Who's, who's the big kind of face right now on the left? Whoever gets thrown out there, the talking heads are gods. They're gods to you. They're gods to us. They have told us what to do and we have jumped. They have told us what truth is and we have listened. They have told us what science is and they've changed science and they've changed definitions about what reality is. They want us to keep laws that can't even be kept because they're not even possible anymore. They want to tax us to do things that are impossible. Uh, You think they're actually going to achieve that or are they just going to loot the entire system? I think they're going to loot the entire system. But again, what happened? Their game plan is to divide us so they may leech us. Who's they? Demons for sure. Definitely the elite in their kind of targeted sections. They want to stay elite. They want to stay wealthy. And so all of us that have sat in our individual homes for the last 30 years, we go home to our individual place, we turn on the blue flickering screen and we let it tell us what to think. That has turned into a programmatic dividing of us into various section groups that aren't even real. They're mythologies that have been made up about who we are historically. They're way too big to to really describe any of us. And yet, because we're so zealously addicted to the worship of these gods and their talking faces, that we are willing to go to a neighbor and actually hate the neighbor, the person right next door, because of two people so far away, we could never actually possibly talk to them, and they might as well be the Wizard of Oz. In fact... I think that's what's going on, if you hear what I'm saying. So, Christians shunning other Christians, that just shows that we don't know what Christianity is about. Christianity doesn't shun. You definitely walk away from the evildoer. You definitely don't eat with one who says, I'm a Christian, and then goes out and like is the whore of Babylon directly. But Christians don't turn their back on people who need forgiveness. Like We just don't do, like, 70 times 7 and all that, right? So, shunning... Not the primary mode here, right? And so, yeah, it's sad that we see this happening all over the place. And again, uh, is this Christianity that's doing this or is this the worship of these screens? And I'm going to contend it's the worship of the screens. Turn them off. Start writing stuff down. Start thinking about the news over time with your own head. Start applying biblical knowledge, Psalms and Proverbs to your life. And what you're going to find is that we've been in a Disneyland merry-go-round like you wouldn't believe and thank God you can wake up and still watch everyone spin while you just kind of plan to live here till Jesus gets back. Because that's a lot easier than trying to keep the miracle around from, from blowing up. I mean, that's, are you ready for the fire? Like, that's it. <laughs> Flies. Are you ready for the fire? I mean, this is, this is what Christianity says. We are ready for the fire. The fire is going to purge the evil. The fire is going to purify us. Washed in the blood of Christ, we are going to rise through that, right? So why would we shun each other over something like death or helping the poor? Why would we not instead locally stop debating about how the government's going to help the poor in D.C.? Yeah, right. Um, Make more is what they're going to do. And instead, try to help the poor here locally.